Interesting. That little fox. We'll find out if it's true after I hunt her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Alright, let's see what's up, then, huh? Good, Dark Knight. Okay. Hey, bro, as you can see, I'm already playing Black Myth Wukong. I just wanted to go ahead and just make a review of this game. I feel like I'm towards the end of it. That's, I'm sure that's not the final uh, master or anything, but I'm definitely towards the end of this game. I only need two more relics. So I just wanted to make my uh, video on it really quick and just make my review on it before I beat it. This isn't a game that I was going to make episodes and show myself do the complete walkthrough because I didn't know if you guys cared or not, so I didn't turn it into a series. But I will say this. I should have turned this game into a series, bro. This game is pretty good. I like the fighting mechanics. I like the story. The story is very intricate if you want to pay attention to it. If not, it doesn't matter. But yeah, the fighting is great. The only downside to this game is not really open world. I love games to where I feel like you have more of an open world and you can kind of go where you want. You know what I mean? But I guess it would have been hard to make this game kind of open world. But I don't know. I just like the feeling of having an open world. Like, you know, if you play any uh, Legend of Zelda games with Link, you know how it's kind of like open world? Even though you have set places to go and there's a storyline that you're mostly going to follow, I mean, follow, there's still kind of more, it's still more so like an open world. You know what I mean? And this game, it doesn't have that feeling. And that's the only downside to this game, I would say. I love the story. I love the fighting, graphics. Everything is fire. The only thing that I wish is that it was more open world and he had a mode of transportation. This game would have been perfect if it was open world and I got to fly on my little Nimbus cloud. If they had that in this game, I would be like, bro, this game is a like 9 or 10. You know what I mean? But since they don't have that mechanic... I'll probably give this game like a 7. 7 out of 10 because it's very straightforward. You go to one world, you just fight all the people, you beat them, then you keep going. You hear more about the story. You know what I mean? So it's cool, but I do wish, like I said, they had that travel. I, w I wish they had like that traveling mechanic. You feel me? It sounds like I'm about to get into a fight. So if you guys want to watch, you can watch this boss fight real quick. And then uh, I'll talk more about my review. And then... Oh yeah, we about to fight. You dare to push me. Always have a way out. Only you came back at the wrong time. Are you not thinking straight, Father? I brought the destined one here to save you. Either this nigga tripping. How can you say that to me? Or she is. I went through fate. flames to find the destined one for you. But you, father, don't you see? And I'm leaning towards this nigga tripping. This whole time, huh? That's interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> Red boy? Interesting. That little fox. We'll 
find out if it's true after I hunt her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Alright, let's see what's up, then, huh? Alright, let's get it. Uh, review can wait. I knew you were about to start, nigga. I'm ready, guy. Okay, Shadow Clone Jitsu. Let's get it. This fire a bit up. She's beating the brakes off of y'all. Wait, where did she go? Ah, oh, shit. And I'm this nigga. I turned at the wrong time. All right, come on, come on. Hell no, ice she cut. All right, got her. Just a little bit. Got her. Oh, I'm about to be her first try. For sure. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Thought. Yeah, you thought you could hit me. Fuck! Fuck! Too early, nigga. Come on, B. Come on. Ooh, got your ass, man. Hell no, cuz. Alright, so I will say this, the boss fights in this game are no joke, nigga. So in this game, you can't really block. You have to kinda of, Ooh! You have to kinda of parry. You know what I mean? So this is definitely for Ooh! Definitely for uh experience. Uh ooh, let me stop talking. Definitely for experienced gamers. See, this is my first time fighting her, so I don't even know her moves, though. All right, little bit. Shut up. See, I gotta get out the fire for sure. Could be her. This is gonna be easy. This is gonna be an easy fight. But anyway, like I was saying, this is a pretty good game. The fights are good. The boss fights are good. Only downside is like what I already told you guys. So if you want to buy it, uh, good storytelling, fun to play. It's intense. Yeah, man. Like I said, I would give it a seven out of ten. But that's only because it's not like a free range, open world type. And those are my favorites. You know, it's just very straightforward. You can't really go off of the path that they have laid out for you. So that's my only downsides. But other than that, it's a great game, man. Let me know if you've played this game down in the comments. Shout out to the gang. I miss y'all. Uh, will I put up gameplay for this? No, because like I said, I'm almost done with it. So I'm just going to make this video, beat this game soon. I plan on making gameplay, though, for Dragon Age. There's a new Dragon Age that just came out. So I'll probably finish the story in this game maybe in like a week. And then I'm going to start Dragon Age. And that's the gameplay I'm going to put up. Anyway, shout out to the gang. Black Myth Wukong is pretty good. I like it. Yeah. See y'all soon, man. Peace.